and as a junior All-State football player. Billy Baker from Belmont, a senior, 41-0 his record, 126-17 his career, won the Fort Wayne Semi-State, a three-time sectional champion, a semi-state champion, won uh, three NHC conference titles, five times ISWA state champion, a 2007 state qualifier at 189, a 3A All-State defensive lineman, captain of the 3A state uh, football champion. He will attend Marion College on a football scholarship. And we have two football players out here, and if you look at them, you can see any football coach in the state of Indiana like they have these guys playing for them. Uh, of course, Baker proved his salt this year by leading his team to a state championship. I saw him play, and all the wrestlers immediately because they handled themselves and they can tackle. I'll tell you what, Marion College, Coach Karras has done an outstanding job recruiting in the state of Indiana for a very young football program. Marion College's football program just a couple of years old, and uh, boy, they have uh, they have gotten some uh, pretty notable names yes, they to have. come on board there. And Baker is one. Both wrestlers are outstanding. Baker is working the two-on-one when he can, and Lenz is basically working a collar tie. Baker beat Nathan Cleveland of Lowell, who was 36-2. and two. Lenz went over Warren Central's Gabriel Berry. That was a tight 3-2 to two decision. Barry was 45 and 0. And he's cer certainly to make the most of it. He got a takedown against Barry with 20 seconds left, giving the victory. In, and uh, Billy Baker's ranked number one in the state. Nice shot. It was blocked well by Lentz. But Baker won two to nothing over number two ranked Nathan Cleveland from Lowell. And he got a takedown in the first period and let it, made it stand. Great balance by Baker back out to the center. That kid, that guy is in shape. Nice two on one. He does a shot. Nothing real fancy, but very effective. Well, there has been some activity in this in this first period, even though no points have been scored. Lentz almost got a takedown, but Baker fell through it. And Baker got in on two nice shots. Baker is in the uh, red, white, and blue singlet. And he is the visitor. Baker won the flip, and he has chosen down for the first period. This thing might go a little bit longer than the normal six minutes. Lance is running the spiral ride. Baker's trying to work his way up to his feet. But as long as Lance can keep his head down or lower, he can ride him out. Nice stand up by Baker and good counter. Straight back to the mat by Lance. It's called a toss off by Baker. He got escape. <laughs> Give Baker the one point, the one nothing lead at the 92nd mark of the second period. Lance got a little high and Baker caught his foot and just literally tossed it off, tossed it behind him and was able to get the escape and almost got a take down to his back. But Lentz fought through it nicely. Two pretty athletic individuals out there on the mat right now. Down to a minute in period two. One to nothing. Billy Baker of Belmont. Would have seen quite a bit more action, I think. Went out of bounds. Baker off the whistle is always working in. That's pummeling the head. Baker reciprocates. Thirty-nine seconds left. Nice, nice, nice whip. There's a little shrug by Baker. Good move, but ran out of real estate. Out of bounds. Picked up another point, did Baker. It's now two to nothing with a half a minute to go in the second period. Lentz doesn't seem to be able to mount much offensively against Baker. Now well, Baker's got really good position, and he'll move him to the end. No, not. Oh, now I. That was a quick whistle. <laughs> Because Baker got position, Baker never went out of bounds or stepped out of bounds. Lynch did, but Baker could have brought him back in, and I think he would have scored too. 
Down to five seconds left in the period. We may just kind of coast over the final couple of seconds here and then get to period three and see if they can't decide it. So two to nothing. As we get ready for the third period now, Bill Baker of Belmont. Well, he wants a crown. He wants to uh, finish his senior year individually with a, a state championship in wrestling and to go along with his football state championship. And it's not a bad year, is it? No, he gets another chance next week at Center Grove as Belmont is back again, one of the storied histories or storied schools in the history of Indiana. And I just, I just always have admired the job that Coach Farrell and his staff do with the Belmont program. Their wrestlers are always prepared. They handle victory and loss with dignity. Well, it sounds to me as though that there's certainly, uh, in terms of the administration, a commitment to, uh, to being successful at Belmont as well, which is something that, that always helps when you're trying to build a success program wide. Well, they're, I guess, a 3A school, so they depend on their athletes to be multi-sport athletes. So a lot of the wrestlers do play football. And I think the two complement each other so well. Baker's working and staying in good position. Right now he's on the edge. Lenz is out of bounds, and Lenz is losing. And it's, that, that plays to Baker's favor. Two to one the score now. Lenz picks up a point. A minute ten to go. Baker will, will work into him, keep moving, get him to the edge of the mat. Oh, he took a shot. He's doing enough to make it look busy. <laughs> it's smart match. He's got the head down and wrist controls well. Lenz is going to be making a move here shortly. He doesn't have much more time. 45 seconds. And Baker's going to be ready to respond. If you look at Lenz there, he took a little peek at the clock, see how much is left. Baker's so strong, and, and he's on his head and shoulders for the snap down. Lynn's going to have trouble getting in into Baker's legs. Baker took a glance at the clock as well and sees he's 30 seconds away from a state championship. Oh, nice move. Little throw by. Nice move. Might have sealed the deal with that two-point takedown. It's now uh, four to one with 20 seconds left. Well, I think that deal is sealed. I think you're right. He's ranked number one in the state, and he's lived up to the hype. And Lentz, give him credit for coming off the bench a year ago, from a year ago, from the JV all the way to the state championship match individually. So two of Indiana's best right now, 215. Billy Baker of Belmont High School is the 215-pound champion, and he finishes his career with a record of 42-0 on the season, 127 and 17 in an outstanding career and congratulations to junior Christian Lentz. Third place goes to Lowell High School's Nathan Cleveland. Runner up at 215 is Mishawaka's Christian Lentz. And at the top of the stack, it's an undefeated senior season 42. 